Hey guys, Duckling Power here, back with another Destiny 2 Zer looting location. He is over on IO this week. He's over in the giant scar, so I'm gonna fly in and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so once you've spawned in, guys, you basically just wanna follow the marker for Zer over here. You're gonna go underneath this little sort of hangar area. And as you can see, there are people right over here chatting with our boy Zer who over the last two weeks has had very, very good loot. He seems to be in this cave. I wonder if he has as good loot this week. So let's have a let's have a quick look. Oh, there's a there's a chest here. I'll open this quickly. What am I gonna get? Tokens and some glimmer. Let's see what Zer has this week. And Zer has got He's got the Risk Runner. The Risk Runner is a decent SMG. If you want it, get it, because it is quite good. Taking arc damage increases this weapon's power, and when arc conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. Pretty much the Xylo Supercell, but as a submachine gun. That gun did have quite a lot of recoil, so it could be considered sort of like a submachine gun, but this is the full on submachine gun version of it, and it is quite good. The Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves um hunter armor increased sidearm ready and reload speed it's a bit specific to just sidearms i know you can have them in the kinetic and energy but you know don't really see too many people using sidearms and increase this armor's mobility allowing you to move faster and it can have full mobility or it can have mobility two mobility and one resilience but the perk does give you extra mobility so you could potentially be fast as fuck boy or you can be fast as fuck with a bit extra armor the hollow fire heart now just from that image that looks pretty fucking cool it's the titan chest armor it's sunfire furnace perk says greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities whilst hammer of salt is charged so if you have your super and you're not using it straight away which in this game you don't just pop your super as soon as you get it because it takes quite a long time to earn so you have to use it wisely basically your recharge rate of your other abilities will go proper quick and then super melee abilities solar melee abilities recharge faster this is basically just about getting your abilities off over and over and over again and finally the transversive steps for the warlock the strange protractor is our perk and it says while sprinting movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded that's pretty cool and increase this armor's recovery allowing you to recover health faster so it can either have two mobility and one recovery or one mobility one resiliency and one recovery and for the hollow fire heart because i didn't check that it can either have two mobility and two resilience or two mobility one resilience and one recovery so overall i think i am going to pick up the risk runner just because i don't have it I am going to pick up that just because it looks cool and I am going to pick up the transversive steps just because it's an extra exotic for my warlocks. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed that video then please press that like button and that subscribe button and go do the same for the rest of the park with their names will be in the description down below. This week was not as good for Zer's loot but it was still decent. Also go check out Phantomies and it will also be in that description down below and I will see you guys next time and good.